Greetings everyone and welcome to another episode of Stalker Modding Basics. In this episode we'll be having a look at Stalker models. First, how to get these models. Export slash convert them into objects in order for them to be used in a 3D software like Blender. Import them into the actor editor. Export them back in order for them to be used in game. Without further ado, let's get to it. First, we need to extract data from the games. In this case, I'll be extracting some data from Call of Pripyat. To do this, you need a tool called the AXR Toolset or the Ultimate DB Converter. In this video, I'll be using the Ultimate DB Converter because I'm more familiar with it. Both links in the description. After extracting the files, look for the model that you want. In this case, a knife. Now convert it to a dot object file. The reason we need a dot object file is to use it with a 3D software like Blender. But we will not be doing this today. Import it into the actor editor. As you can see, we have plenty of options. Make sure to always check the HQ geometry box, otherwise you will lose some quality from the mesh. In surfaces, you can change the texture path. If the model has a set of textures that already exist in the SDK actor editor, it will automatically show it in the viewport. If you wish to learn to add new textures into the actor editor, there is a link down below. We have also shaders and the game compiler. I will not dive too deep into those. I'll leave them to another video to explain more. Set the correct motion animation path in the motion section. Since we are using a, a first person knife, we are looking for the knife motion. You do not need to modify anything in the bone section. However, you have to add the correct hitboxes if you are using a third-person model. We will have a look at third-person models in the future, so stay tuned. Now go to Files, Export as OGF. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed. See you next time, stalkers.